Well, as you know, 10 meters has been really rocking lately. Uh, I had a storm move through here and knocked down my 10 meter antenna. I use an inverted V for 10 meters, and uh, so I'm going to show you today how to build a new one. If you're a new ham, uh, you uh, probably don't have a lot of money if you're like I was when I first started, and uh, you probably don't know a lot about antennas or what will work good for you. So um, an antenna like this, an inverted V or a dipole, uh, will usually work good. And you'll get a lot of contacts with it. It's it's just about it is what I use. It's all I use. And now I'm thinking of it. I have inverted V's right now. Is all I have. Um, at the end of the video, I'll explain to you how to uh, string it up in a tree. It's really pretty easy, and uh, you can get in business uh, pretty cheaply and right away um, with one of these kind of antennas. So I hope it works for you. And uh, good luck today. I'm going to rebuild a 10 meter antenna. Uh, the old one was ruined, so we're going to start from scratch here. I've got your uh, handy dandy uh, uh, one to one valent here. Uh, this uh, I bought off of eBay uh, for $31, ready to go. It's got the clips on it on the side for the wires, the hook at the top, and the connector on the bottom for the coax. So everything's ready to go. Now for wire, I got just a, just a roll of uh, old scrap wire I had from another project, and uh, I'm sure that it'll be just fine to do this uh, project with. So let me get this wire loose here from the uh, zip tie that's holding it. not so bent and crooked and used. Please don't judge. I'm the worst ever. Worst ever solder. Now, I intend for this to be a half wave antenna. Half wave 10 meter antennas. So we'll need a quarter wave on either side. So 8.2 feet on either side. 8.2 feet. So we're going to do about 8 point more than 2 feet. The reason being that uh, we might need to make adjustments. You want to be sure you leave room to make adjustments on here. So let's go 8.2 feet. So a quarter of the, three inches would be a quarter, so probably about two and a half inches. So let's make this, um, we'll just make it nine feet total. Once again, don't judge. Don't judge. Not, not a soldering person. Get that hot. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. There is. Uh, that the size of stuff. Okay, there's there is that with 8.2 feet on either side wire, one uh, 10 meter either uh, dipole or inverted V antenna. Okay, it couldn't hardly be much easier than that, could it? Uh, takes maybe an hour if you're slow like me. Uh, the total money I've gotten to this thing, I paid about 30 bucks for that Balin. Uh, I had the wire on hand, so that didn't cost me anything. So if you had to buy wire, it'd probably be about another 20 bucks. That's probably about all you'd have in it, except whatever cord you need to maybe pull it up in a tree or on a pole or whatever you want to use it for. Uh, the best way to pull it in a tree is uh, take a fishing rod with some strong line on it and put a weight on the end, cast your uh, weight up to the highest point of the tree that you can get it, and then let the line fall down, let the weight come on down, and then you tie your stronger cord, maybe your paracord to that, pull it back through, and then you can tie your antenna hook onto that and haul it up into the tree and then uh, haul out your sights. Uh, as an inverted V, it needs to be wider than 90 angles at the point of the baling at the top, 
In other words, if 90 degrees, it needs to be a little. It needs to be 90 degrees or wider. So uh, be sure you got that. Um, that will help you. Uh, anyway, it works well. It's all I'm using right now, and uh, it. Uh, um, I would show you some contacts on 10 meters right now, but there's a thunderstorm going on outside, and uh, I can't fire up the rig. So, uh, uh, but trust me, it works. I've worked uh, Australia, uh, Europe, um, Japan on on an inverted V, and right now, while 10 meters is rocking, you probably want to get on the air and get some of that action, and it's going to be easy to do. So, this is Jim W5F5E Texas Radio. Hope it works for you. Good luck. Till next time.